to this week's episode of KCAT, episode 0.5. Since we don't have an intro, and Apple Solo won't see this till after it's already been loaded out, here's an intro. Welcome to KCAT. Trey, get off your phone. That's good. We're done. We're done. Hello, and welcome to KCAT News. My name's Emma. And I'm Trey. In this episode, we'll be covering Post-Student Choice Awards, state champion Maddie Mitchell, and an episode of In the Halls. Jacob Herman will also be covering the finals schedule for next week. Now, I'll throw it to Caleb with Post-Student Choice Awards. Melvin High School Student Choice Awards was last Friday. It started with a green carpet by with Victory Wildcat. Then the ceremony got started with Best Supporting Actress. There is... Also performances by Amanda Bilby, Grace Thomas, Sam Conrad, Andrew Burgos, and Matresa Lauderball. I caught up with some of the attendees and asked them what they thought about the Student Choice Awards this year. Going to be 100% honest. I think it was a little bit rough, but I feel like everyone had a good time and everyone got the awards that they deserved. Performances I really liked a lot. Uh, I thought the Student Choice Awards were pretty pretty dope. It went pretty smoothly, except for some minor issues with the sound, but nothing much. Um, I was a part of a jazz band, so I got like front row seats to everybody. I kind of sucked that people weren't able to be there, but I guess that's just how it is. So. My role was uh, to be the MC, the host for the Student Choice Awards. Um, between uh, categories, I would have to um, coordinate with Reagan to make sure that we got the uh, right... Um, nominee paper, the winner, and that we got the right uh, trophy escort, make sure that everything went all in a row and in line. I feel that the uh, Student Choice Awards uh, overall went very smoothly. We did have a couple of glitches with the uh, uh, sound not working for our special performances, but we got that all taken care of and it all went very well. Thank you all to um, showed up. Uh, it means a lot to me that I, after um, um, putting in all this uh, hard work, it I'm glad to see um, people show up and uh, have a good time. All in all, it looks like everyone had a great time at 2018 Student Choice Awards. Signing out from here is Caleb Perkins. Back to you, Trey, in the studio. Thanks, Caleb. Now, I'll pass it to Emma with the forensic state champion, Maddie Mitchell. Thanks, Trey. When you think of NFL, you think of National Football League. But for people involved with competitive acting and speaking, it's known as National Forensics League. Forensics is an activity that consists of competitive acting, debate, and public speaking. There are multiple events in forensics. This is what Maddie Mitchell has to say. Well, like I said, there are some public speaking type events, there are debate, but if you're like me, I do more acting stuff, for example, dramatic interpretation, which is what I do. You memorize a dramatic piece, which usually is a sad thing, and then you perform it for up to 10 minutes. Typically, a person roughly has a month to practice and perfect their piece before their first competitions of the season. The forensic state competition took place May 5th at Washburn Rural in Topeka, Kansas. Maddie Mitchell took first place in dramatic interpretation. I am the class 4A state champion in dramatic interpretation, so that makes me, for this year, the best um, dramatic actor in the state as far as being competitive and so that's pretty substantial and like if you compare it to like a state champion in a track event or state champions in different types of athletic events it, it, it's substantial and I don't think it should be any less substantial than that. Winning means to me knowing that a message that I wanted to communicate resonated with people because that should be the most important thing with forensics is like you should have a message you want to convey to someone whether it's through a speech that you wrote or through someone else's words and eyes and, a, and an acting piece you know so knowing that I've won makes me recognize that my message connected with somebody. Her hard work from going to multiple camps during the summer and endless practice led her to this outstanding victory. Congratulations, Maddie, on your amazing accomplishment. Emma Seville, KCAT News. Now we will go on to In the Halls with Trey and Andrew. I'm Andrew Burgos. And I'm Trey Vasolo. Today, we caught up with the student body wondering what in the world a DVD was. And this starts off this edition of In, in the, the Halls. Halls. Do you own a TV? How do you pronounce TV? Television? What? All right, you do, all right. So you, do you own DVDs? Yeah. How do you pronounce DVD? What? DVD. What's the DVD called? <laughs> <laughs> you had no clue, do you? Uh, no. No clue at all. Thanks, Max. 
Cade Becker. Can I have you for a sec? Yes. Do you own a TV? Indeed I do. Do you know what TV stands for? Television. Okay, do you own a DVD? It's the 21st century. Yes? No? I mean, I own a couple. Yeah. Okay, do you know what DVD stands for? I, I don't know. Jared Palmer, sir Jared Palmer, I got a question for you. What's up, buddy? Do you own a TV? Uh, yes, sir. How do you pronounce TV? Television. All right, that's great. Do you own a DVD? Yes. How do you pronounce DVD? DVD. <laughs> Just like television, how do you pronounce TV? DVD. I don't know the full word for it. Just give it a shot. Digital video. Downloader. All right, you're not bad. It's pretty close. All right. Do you know what a floppy disk is? Uh, no. Do you think it's floppy? Uh, no. All right, it's not floppy. You're right about that. Now, what about a VHS? Do you know what that is? Yes, I do. Would you know what that stands for? I do not. You want to give it a shot? Uh, virtual high school. <laughs> virtual high school. You know what? Close enough. It actually stands for video home system. Ah, Thank okay. you for your time today, Jared. Thank you, sir. Bands it, bands it, bands it. All right, I got a question for you. Do you know what TV stands for? Tuberculosis? TV. Tell. TV. One more thing. Do you know what a VHS is? Yes, but I don't know what it stands for. <sighs> we tried. We tried, we tried. Well, we figured out the student body does not know what a DVD stands for. Or a floppy disk. Or a VHS. That includes this edition of In the Halls. Thanks, guys. We will throw it to Jacob for the finals week schedule. Finals are going to be next Wednesday through Thursday. Each, each final is worth 15%, and any missed final will mean zero. Zero. And the dates are over here, if you haven't already noticed. Thanks, Jacob. That's it for this week's edition of KCAT News. Thanks for watching, and see you next year. Thanks for watching, Kate Cat!